Coming to this trip has been really life-changing for me because growing up as a kid, I watched a lot of anime. So I had this really different perspective on life in Japan before I came here. You're expecting a sort of lifestyle that you see in the shows that you like, but it's actually a lot more diverse and different. It seems like when people associate culture with things, it's something of the past and you can forget about it once the future happens. But in Japan, it's kind of both. A lot of technical advancements but they still have parades, they have shrines, and traditional values. The Buddhist temple felt like a different world. When you walk in, you know, the lights are dim, you have to take your shoes off, and it's just kind of like a natural state in there. You cleanse your hands before you go into like a temple, and I liked seeing the 50-foot Buddha at Kamakura. That was really cool. We meditated. That was crazy. The time really flies by. And this long trip, you need some of that. And when the bell rings, you just transport it back into the real world. We took Japanese and it was kind of hard, but it was still interesting and fun. It like really helps a lot that I could like understand little parts of conversations here and there and like know when to say. Be prepared to speak to new people. For example, our teacher actually made us interview a few people outside of our classroom and we used the words that we learned in class. It builds up your confidence and it helps you navigate through Tokyo because if you're afraid to talk to people you won't be able to ask for directions for anything. Meeting students at high school, it was very interesting because you only have a select amount of words you can use but somehow we were still able to communicate. They're still very understanding and will help you out if you don't know a word. Japan is a world of its own. You're gonna have a great time. It's a really great experience.